John Castleman statue will stay in storage for now after a Louisville judge gave the city more time to decide what to do about it. The Supreme Court ruled in late April that the decision to remove the statue was flawed because city employees voted on it when they shouldn't have. Wave News reporter Mark Stevens says that the statue's supporters, they're tired of the delays. Hey, the winning side got one technical detail accomplished today. The legal decision that approved removing the statue in the first place was tossed out, but getting the statue actually put back is still stuck in the courts. Metro government only has two choices here. One is to reinstall the statue. The other is to go through the process again. Uh, I didn't say that we didn't want right. to go through the process. I said we just hadn't decided what we were. Right. What I mean, the I process was was supposed to be. More legal wrangling is in the John Castleman statue's future. A judge gave the city more time to argue in writing what it wants to do with it. It was removed from Cherokee Triangle in June 2020 after being repeatedly vandalized and Castleman's history was disputed. Attorney Steve Porter won the Supreme Court case to reinstall Castleman. He says this latest court fight is a waste of time. The Supreme Court decision was pretty clear. Uh, the decision to remove the statue has been reversed. But the city says it is still reviewing all of its options. The case only became final from the Supreme Court four days ago, and the assistant county attorney argued that's not long enough for the city. Metro government's still looking at all the options, but I think it's unclear even after the Landmarks Commission decision is set aside where we go from here. Both sides are due back in court on June 21st, coincidentally the longest day of the year, for a case that shows no signs of ending quickly. I would say probably not. My guess is that the city is going to try and do everything they can to just delay and push it around. Now, Porter is also asking the judge to have taxpayers cover his legal costs, so the longer this case lasts, potentially the bigger his check will be. Mark Stevens, Wave News.